hissed at Charlie angrily, but finally took a carrot and started eating. First timidly, then more and more greedily. I see you like it, the bunny said proudly. Had enough to eat? Around this time, nobody comes here. Yet, before Lucy and Charlie could say thank you, the bunny lolloped away. Time to sleep, Charlie said when they had eaten enough. Immediately, Lucy agreed. Quite satisfied, they cuddled up together under a bush. When the sun rays, the two went on. Soon Lucy's paws hurt her. If I have to walk the whole day, I would like to have something delicious to eat, she moaned. Nothing comes without doing something, the Tomcat said, so let's try to catch some mice. But as much as they tried, they didn't succeed. Shh, suddenly Lucy said, over there. Only a short distance away, there was a little squirrel sitting on the ground and laying out in the sun. Okay, Charlie said. I'll count to three, and then we'll jump. Okay, Lucy said. One, two, three, go! You counted too noisily, Lucy complained. It's gone now. You must be very hungry if you want to eat squirrels. Although it's true, we haven't eaten for some days, Charlie confirmed. Go to Mario's. He's the world's best cook. There, you will get leftovers of meat as much as you want, and simply the best, the squirrel suggested. Leftover meat? Delicious! Lucy exclaimed excitedly and ran away. You have to go straight, to go straight ahead, the squirrel called after them. Ristorante da Mario, Lucy spelled reverently. There, Charlie whispered and pointed towards the garbage cans. Without looking, Lucy ran on. <laughs> Damn, Charlie cursed. Because of her greed, she ruined everything. Startled by the noise of the gooses, Mario came out of the house. Hurry up, Lucy, we have to leave, Charlie called. No, no, Mario stopped them. I love cats. Are you hungry? What would you like to eat? I have a wonderful tuna pizza. Tuna pizza? Lucy sighed and Charlie licked his lips. It's just the last minute one, Mario said. But the bon appetito. Fantastico, Lucy said when she was finished. If I could walk back home to San Francisco with any blisters on my feet, I would be the happiest cat in the world. You want to go to San Francisco, Mario asked. No problem. Down in the harbor, every ship goes to San Francisco. And the captain doesn't look for stowaways, Charlie asked with doubt. No, no, no. Has more important things to do. Believe me, it's easy. Lucy and Charlie said thank you and went on their way to the river. Good luck, Mario called. They had good luck. They found a ship that was just casting off. Everybody was so busy, they didn't even notice two stray cats. Lucy and Charlie found a wonderful hiding place where they made themselves comfortable until they arrived in San Francisco. For many days, Mrs. McDonald, Laureen, and Lionel sat sadly in the living room. Oh, I don't feel like greeting visitors. Laureen, please go and tell them I don't feel well. Laureen stood up and went to the door. We don't want to buy anything, Laureen said when she saw two neglected street cats. Don't you recognize me? Lucy asked dumbfounded. It's me, Lucy. Unbelieving, Laureen stared at the little dirty cat. Lucy, Lionel called happily. Mom, it's definitely Lucy. Now Laureen recognized Lucy too and was beaming with happiness. Mrs. McDonald, Mrs. McDonald, Lionel called very excitedly. Lucy is back. And who are you? Laureen asked Charlie. Charlie is my name, madame. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. Without Charlie, I would have never been able to escape from the cat catcher, Lucy told them. He is allowed to stay with us, isn't he? 
If he helped Lucy, he can stay with us as long as he would like, Mrs. McDonald said happily. In some ways, he reminds me of Lucy's father, Lorene whispered to Mrs. McDonald. I think if he washes himself, he would look very handsome. Do you really want to stay with us? Lionel asked enthusiastically. Well, I would like to get to know your family for a few days and then we'll see, said Charlie with restraint. Well, do that, Charlie, but you will see. You will like my family very much and you won't want to leave. Lucy smiled and looked very amorously at Charlie.